Hey everybody, so real quick I want to talk about the difference between homozygous and heterozygous when it comes to alleles and traits. So one of the things that we've been talking about in previous lessons is how you have traits which are like hair color, eye color, stuff like that, but your traits are controlled by which alleles you have. Now. Uh, but what is an allele, though? Um, alleles are variations of a trait. Okay, so a trait may be hair color, but there's lots of variations of hair color. There's brown. Let's just look at two. Let's just look at brown and blonde. Okay. Uh, let's say that theoretically those are the only two hair colors that you could have is either brown or blonde. So these variations of this trait, you can have either one, and there are alleles for each. So in your genes, you have, there's the brown allele and a blonde allele. Now you may not have both, you may just have one or the other, or you might have both. But um, these are the alleles, so this is allele number one, this is allele number two. So let's say that brown is dominant, okay? So we're gonna label brown, the brown hair variation, which is an allele, as a capital B because it's what we call dominant. Meaning that when it is present in your DNA, you're probably gonna have brown hair, okay? Uh, well, you will have brown hair all the time because it's dominant if it's present, okay? Uh, blonde, let's say blonde is little b. Let's call blonde little b. Why is it lowercase? Because we use lowercase to signify that it is recessive, meaning it's not dominant, okay? So it can be dominated by the dominant allele. Now, everyone has two alleles for each trait. So, mom has two alleles, dad has two alleles. Okay? Now, even though you have two alleles, only one gets expressed. So let's say that mom is big B, little b, and let's say that dad is little b, little b. Okay? So even though mom has two alleles, she has the dominant brown hair allele and she has the recessive blonde hair allele. But only one of these two is going to get expressed on her body. And which one? Well, it's, if there's a dominant one, it's always going to be the dominant one, 100% of the time. So mom is gonna have brown hair. This is called the phenotype, by the way. Dad, it doesn't matter which allele gets expressed by dad, because whichever one gets expressed, it's gonna be a little b either way. So dad's gonna be blonde. Be right back. Okay, so, um, Let's say that mom is big B, little b, and dad is little b, little b. Well, there's different uh, combinations that their kids could have. Um, but the different combinations we call different things. And this is where the homozygous and heterozygous come in. So let's say that they have kids now, their kids could be, you know, different combinations of alleles. I'm not going to get into the Punnett square on how to calculate that right now. I'm just wanting to talk about the difference between homozygous, heterozygous. So, see these two alleles. One's, they're going to be either big or little, either dominant or recessive. So, if they are different, meaning that one is dominant, one's recessive, or one's big and one's little, then that means that it is what's called heterozygous. This is actually one word, I just ran out of room, okay? Heterozygous. Now, hetero means different. 
And if they're both the same, meaning they're both big, or they're both small, then that is called homozygous. Homo means same. But you can't just say homozygous because homozygous tells you that both of the alleles are the same, meaning they're both either dominant or they're both recessive, but it doesn't tell you whether they're dominant or recessive. So you have to add that part at the end. So homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive. So once again, heterozygous, one's dominant, one's recessive, one's big, one's little. That's hetero, because hetero means different. They're different sizes. Big B, little B, or big Bs, both big B, both little Bs, both dominant or both recessive. They're both the same. These two are the same. These two are the same. Same means homozygous, but you have to indicate homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive.